Hello everybody. Um, I'm just giving a quick update on my Sea Monkey tank. Uh, this has been going for almost a year. It started in last December. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to give some uh, quick tips on what to do and uh, how to proceed and uh, especially how to uh, grow your own brine shrimp in case you want to use just brine shrimp eggs. So first thing is first, um, if you do everything yourself, you will need some salt, sea salt. This is called instant ocean sea salt. Um, <clears throat> and as you can see, I just have a 10 gallon supply. It's a big box. It uh, will last you quite a bit of time. There's the back. So, <clears throat> basically, the correct way to mix this instant ocean salt here is use. Um, a bottle of drinking water, 500 milliliter bottle, and put one tablespoon of the salt into the, the mixture. So that's how you can do that. So it's pretty easy. Just use a bottle of regular drinking water, 500 milliliters, or measure it out yourself, however you want to do it. Um, <clears throat> if you use tap water or water that has metals in it or chlorine and chloramines and things of that nature you can use some tap water conditioner uh, since it's, it's such a small amount you just need to use one drop so I use this for my uh, fish tank as well so uh, pretty easy to do Next thing is what to feed. Now, you can buy the food or just go to your fish store and aquarium store. I use these algae thins. So, let me see if I can show you one. So it's just a tiny green disc, so just crush it up into a very fine powder and you can feed them that. And you can look at the ingredients if you'd like. So um, there they go. Basically, there's brewer's yeast in it. They like that. Spirulina, wheat flour, soybean meal, shrimp, algae, wheat germ, fish oil. So it's all the things that they can um, they can eat. Just make sure you crush it up into a powder so they can filter feed it. Um, and then lastly is the eggs. So. I have them sealed up in here. I'll take them out. I normally keep this shut just because you want to keep the moisture out. So I'll show you real quick. These are brine shrimp egg. So this was a $2 supply to this this can make you know millions there there's just so much in there you can't even uh understand so this will last a very long time i use the uh sea monkey scoop to scoop them out so normally you'd want one of the small end to start a batch or even less than that you might not want that much maybe three quarters
and then I sealed that back up nice and tight. And then last thing, this is what I used some aluminum foil to make the pouches. So basically just fold the foil in such a way that see that the you can make an opening. And then all you gotta do is just pour your mixture in and um, you know cut it to size. So what I do um, if you want to make a package and give it to someone or use it yourself later, I showed some on my other video. Um, you can use a tablespoon of the instant ocean and put in one scoop of the uh, brine shrimp eggs or maybe a half a scoop of the small end of the sea monkey feeding uh, tube a uh, spoon rather and then just put it into your packet like this this one's kind of small I use this one for the making a food packet but if you want it for the egg and salt you're gonna want to um, make a bigger one um, so then once you pour in you either pour in your food or you pour in your salt in your egg mixture and um, like I said if you want 500 milliliters of water to one tablespoon of the sea salt and then you know half to one full spoonful of the small end of the sea monkey feeding spoon just a very small amount you can experiment and that's basically how much you want to put in then once you have it in your tube you just simply like I said fold it over cut the fit then what you can do is you take a uh, regular white glue and um, coat the outside of the foil in that white glue and then glue on both sides a piece of paper and then it kind of looks like a uh, a packet uh, rudimentary one but yeah you can do that and then um, you can draw on the outside or write things on it however you want to do and that's basically it that's pretty much all I do like I said these right here are sea monkeys so they're not um, those brine shrimp, but I've hatched quite a few of those brine shrimp in other videos. Um, so let's just zoom in on these guys. Oops. So like I said, these, these are just regular brine shrimp, but if you uh, follow the directions that I just gave you, you should be able to grow a very similar batch and uh, they'll behave in a similar way. Um, <clears throat> you see there's quite a bit in there, um, adults, most of them are female. There's one male, I think he's kind of right there. So I'm hoping he'll grow up and, uh, you know, continue on the colony so sometimes you can run into problems if you only have females left obviously because I think this species the Artemia franciscana they need to have male and female to make babies so I'm not sure if they can just um, if the females can just make babies alone, I'm not sure. So I know some species can do that, but I'm not, I don't think this one can. However, I, who knows, I, I'm not an expert on it. Um, 
The other thing to notice is if, since there's so many, you know, females in there, if you let the water evaporate down a little bit, then you can fill it back up and there's a chance that the uh, salt levels will swing in such a way that you can stimulate some, some babies being born that way. Uh, there's no babies currently in the tank right now, but Maybe that'll change somewhat soon. So anyway, there they go. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Um, like I said, if you use the um, this uh, this ocean salt here, this I use instant ocean. Like I said, there's other brands you can play around with it. But if you use the salt. Remember, mix up your solution in the correct ratio. So, like I said, a tablespoon of the salt to 500 milliliters of water. And um, just remember, anytime you put water in, it's going to go in at the salinity that you mixed it. So, therefore, if water evaporates out, you want to put fresh water in to top it off to your level because the salt doesn't evaporate, it stays in no matter what you do. The only way that salt comes out is if you take water out. Then the water is dissolved in the salt and it brings it out. So just keep that in mind. Um, that's basically it. So there they are. It's almost a year on these on this sea monkey tank and well, hopefully they stay alive for another. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'll keep you updated. All right. Anyway, enjoy. Hope you like this. Take care. Bye-bye.